Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we will be learning about what are memos in react and why they are required. So even before learning what exactly are memos first we need to understand how react renders component. So what technically happens is that uh, let's say you have a component over here called as a so I'll create a component here a and that component has another components nested within it. So for example we have a component b nested inside a and let's say we have another component C, which is also nested inside A. So technically what happens is that, uh, let's say when you re-render this particular component, which is the component A, both the components B and C are going to be re-rendered. That means, let's say if we have one component and we have multiple components nested into it, all the children will have to be re-rendered and the reason for re-rendering this is that uh, let's say if you have some props passed to this so if this thing has props and if these props are passed to these components and if the value of the props over here changes these components have to be changed as well however in some cases the props are not passed here so let's say for example there are no props passed from A to B and C and if the component A is re-rendered, components B and C also have to be re-rendered even if their data does not change. So this makes no sense because B and C are the exactly same as they were before re-rendering and as there was no data change with B and C, it makes no sense to re-render them. And this will cause performance issue, especially if there's multiple levels of nesting. So for example, if this B component again has multiple components nested, if the C has multiple components nested over here, then what happens is that once we have to re-render A, all of the other components below it have to be re-rendered as well. So this might cause some performance issues. And therefore, what we want is that we want that whenever a particular component is rendered, the children should not be re-rendered. And that's only possible by making use of memos. So in the upcoming lecture, let's go ahead and let's actually take an actual example to understand this concept of re-rendering of components and how exactly memos avoid unnecessary re-rendering of child components. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.